Morning, Justin. Good morning, Mark. How, How are, you? are you, sir? I'm good. I am also good. Do you know what today is? I do know what today is. Today is Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it, as always. You, you, you've kicked us off with some dad joke, with a dad joke. So I, I did. That was a dad joke. It was. Yes. Which I feel like is a signal that we should have some more dad jokes. That's uh, sure. On this momentous day, this momentous yeah. Wednesday. That's right. This momentous Wednesday. Is there anything else about this Wednesday? This Wednesday happens to be our hundredth episode. What? Epi- hundred. 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 What? One zero zero episode. Episodes. Yeah. I think that explains why sometimes we say, did we do this one before? <laughs> yeah, very much so. Yes. We have. We've yeah. done 100. It's, it exactly. seems as if, like you say, you kind of meander a, yeah. you know, through it, and it's like, well, that one has a title, but it still sounds a lot like what we talked about in the other one yeah. that is close, but not quite the same. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so <clears> this <throat> is 100. Um, we have 99 behind us, right? Is that yeah. Great? Yeah. That. yeah. Welcome to How I See It with me, Mark Pratt, and Justin Sternberg. This is a podcast that works to counter cultural polarization through thoughtful conversations. So for the next 100, we're just going to go right back through the same 100 <laughs> and say how we are, we've changed on our thoughts. Yes, how we, how we now see it differently yeah, than right. we did at the when we recorded that. I'm sure yes. that would be very interesting for the listener. We see it in a little kinder, gentler way, yeah. maybe yeah. a little more mellow or, you know. I yeah. hope so. Ah, maybe in some ways we become a little more dogmatic even, you yeah. know. Yeah. That's the the possibility is there. I think that's like a pretty common trait as you age, right? So to mellow? Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd say both. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. That's yeah. Interesting. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, is def- that like per person it's different or is that like I would say per person it's a little different. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cuz I definitely see both. And I think I think as we age there's also the uh the difference between like peace and fear. Mm. You know, because yeah. I think I think you know some people just become a little more mellow yeah. because they're adapting to the aspect of hey, I can't control it. Yeah, and you know, yeah, some people who desire that control tend to be a little more fearful driven. Yeah, so they can be a little more crusty. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> crusty. This is a good one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think the older you get, the more you uh, can resonate with the Ecclesiastes, you know? Mm. There's nothing new under the sun. Some of those, like, yeah. my, you know, my striving isn't quite as potent as I thought it would be, that kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know. Thinking of, th- speaking of uh, dogmatic, did you hear anything from any threes or fours from our uh, last episode? <laughs> <laughs> I got a text from our good friend Graham. Yeah? <laughs> saying, hey, you turkey, I'm a three. <laughs> That's good. That's uh, good. That cracked me up. I told him I knew I was going to get in trouble for <laughs> being a turd. Uh, but yeah. Wait till I see him next time. I'll say, are, do you, you look just a little bit weaker to me. Is there a reason? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Should I know something about you? <laughs> he played ultimate frisbee with this last night, and so every time you know a play would go his way or something, yeah. like, he would make jokes about that, or I would, you know, and it was, it was a fun, f- funny thing. But uh, see me as weak now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 At one point, he caught one. We were on the same team, but he caught one, and while he caught it, he was like staring me down. <laughs> it was funny. Uh, yeah, and then Megan. Uh, you know, I pegged her as a one or two. Well, she's a five. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. which is, which as we discussed it more, I was like, wow, that's kind of interesting. I think for me, it was kind of more, uh, a little bit mind-blowing than her. I mean, I think for her, it kind of made sense in a lot of ways, but. Sure. And it made sense to me once I started thinking about it, but. Yeah. So and that I, was interesting. And I, and that's success uh, five. Yeah. Yeah. Any, uh, and then uh, Megan actually brought up an article. I didn't have a chance to read yeah. it yet, but did you, uh, yeah. just kind of a follow-up for yeah. that. Did so you... there's an article from some person who's a, like a certified coach for that, the primal question okay. thing, yep. um, which is 
a thing you can do. But um, sure. she basically wrote about the seven. But, but what was unique about it that kind of stood out to us is she would break it down into things in your childhood, or your, sure. you know, early childhood that impacted you. So that developed you know, those questions for you, right, basically. Right. Sure. So yep. basically saying, did you grow up in an atmosphere like this? Like, uh, sure. For abandonment, it was did your father leave you at an early age, or sure. did, you know, did, were you left alone for long periods of time? That kind of thing. Yeah. Um, she had questions for each of those. So all that attachment style stuff. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yep. So that was pretty cool to kind of see it in that perspective, and then reading those, like mm-hmm. the one for the fives, was really good for like making it line right up. And oh, the sure. Ones for seven is like, oh yeah, I could. I definitely you can see that. that. Yeah. 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 yeah, neat. Yeah, and then of course uh, you did share that there was a uh, a moment you were very proud of. Um, Do you remember the moment you were very proud of? Very Talked good. about the uh, the strengths and the weaknesses of the uh, of the question. I'm so lost. <laughs> oh man, come on now! This is your moment. It was it was basically they were using oh. your. <laughs> Go ahead. You, you're with me now. This was, I'm proud of Megan saying this, but. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Megan, yeah, man, I was so lost there for me. Uh, no, she. I have that effect lately, I guess. <laughs> so this is a good episode. There's people who are really interested. Megan was looking it up. Uh, she found a podcast episode with David Foster. That's his name, right? Mike Foster. Mike Foster. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mike. Um, <laughs> he was with us here last week, if you recall. Hey, that's right. In spirit. Uh, anyway. A podcast episode where they interviewed him, and he was mentioning how the the that question is this inner drive, and it 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 can be a weakness, but mm-hmm. also it's attached to this ability. It's a strength, right? Sure. So I desire to have purpose, and therefore, you know, sevens are good at trying to find purpose in others and help others find their purpose. And sure. And she said he used the stick. He there didn't you know go. it, but he used the stick. And I said, "What? He stole the stick?" <laughs> no. uh, but yeah. Those are Justin's most proud moments when he can get other people to refer <laughs> to the right. stick. That's that's the beauty of it. <laughs> I was talk, talking to some friends who uh, know you, Mark, uh, oh. and uh, you know have been counseled by you. Okay, and talk about how you you know talk about the same. They've, you've helped them in those areas, and I'm like, he didn't give me the credit for the <laughs> stick, and they were you know that was a, that was a joke. But, uh, <laughs> I'm real disappointed, Mark. Well, see, that's another area that brought us together. You know, other than being sevens, yeah. you had the stick, but I have the continuum. Yeah, that's right. So you know, that's it's right. like it's right. it's a it's really a, a similar it is idea. It is in yeah. that process, right. but being able to recognize, yeah, we see it from yeah, we you brought the stick with you, and I brought my continuum <laughs> with me. You know, and that's what we keep. And, there's, up, and yeah, therefore, yeah. there's nothing new under the sun, <laughs> you know? Right. That's right. <laughs> but yeah, so that was a good little uh, topic. Um, oh, so sure. Sometimes I don't know going into them, like if they're going to, you know. Yeah. That one resonated, which is cool. Um, definitely got me more interested in the book. and. Oh, know, sure. Yeah, Megan was saying we should get it. So, um, But yeah, 100. Yeah. 100. Yeah, and that and it's still uh, we're gonna get to the dad jokes, but it still makes a good segue for today, you know, in that ability that we have to, you know, we all have this desire to be unique or special, but we're very similar in a lot of different yes. ways. Yeah, you know, in that when you can boil it down to seven, like yeah. all of humanity, can, you know, can answer to these seven or yeah. relate to one of these seven primal questions. It kind of gives you a clue. Sure. About we're not that that different. Yeah. Yeah. And yet, uh, so yes. Did you have a, 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 a joke you wanted to share? I almost led into mine, but I forgot what it was just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look it up. I am. How do you get a farm girl to marry you? <laughs> do you want me to say it? Sure. A tractor. <laughs> First, First, a tractor. <laughs> First, a tractor. <laughs> because she thinks your tractor's sexy. There you go. That's 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 the that's the beauty of it. It's always more fun when you can see it in the word. You know, yeah, it's yeah. Through the wordplay. The wordplay. I play. think they'll get it. I, I hear sure. him chuckling I, through I, the I, airwaves. Yes, from Did, the future. <laughs> exactly. Did you have another? One? Have one? Sure. Which bear is the most condescending? 
Oh. <laughs> a panda. Of course the panda. <laughs> Duh. Oh, man. There's there's some other good one. You got some more? I'll let you go. I'll let you All go. Right. This one was... Uh, hang on. Oh, what? D- dry... What uh, the dry erase board is the most remarkable invention yes. in the last hundred years. I like that one. Remarkable. That's Do you get it? Because you can erase <laughs> it. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. What kind of uh, noise does a witch's vehicle make? Broom, broom. Nice, nice. That's pretty good. That was very good. That was very good. I hope everyone's groaning and laughing. Just you Yeah, know, just a little equally. bit. Equally. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, oh, this one's my favorite. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. You'll understand. Yeah, I, everyone will understand. I believe you. And you probably heard it before. Have I? Go for it. I'm sure you haven't. I'm guessing. Our brought audience, to you. Audience brought to you by it. our hundredth episode. That's right. What's brown and sticky? Oh, it's a stick. A stick. Yes. <laughs> oh, I thought you had a better one than that. Come I mean, <laughs> it's you know, it's the stick, so it's a personal favorite. Uh, okay, that's fair enough. Also, I've worn that one out so much. True. Like, I true. say that one so often. Yeah. Every time there's an opportunity for a dad joke, I bring that one up. That's it's not one. very good, but there's a there's a list there if you want. You know, to find I know. One. You know what? How do you know when a joke becomes a dad, a dad, joke? dad joke? Oh, I think I've heard this one. I think you have. We probably said but this one on the air. Probably. <laughs> it becomes apparent. Ah, Mark. that's right. When it's apparent. <laughs> when it's apparent. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, I got one that literally made me LOL when I read it. A little what? Uh, literally, LOL. Oh, okay. Laugh out loud. I gotcha. <laughs> I thought you said a little elf. Okay. <laughs> it made me a little elf when I read it. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm good. <laughs> we'll get you up on all this well, modern I thought day I, Yeah, I just wasn't sure, like <laughs> yeah. you say. All that, right. That reminds me. Our, do, as you think about LOL and all these other things, mm-hmm. is our culture trying to move that fast? That we have to like have <laughs> all these anacronyms and we take words yeah. like sus and, you know, and. Well, while our short- culture is shortening things, you're lengthening. Well, I am. Anacronym. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that was good. I like that. <laughs> Mark bucks against the system. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I, the, I wasn't t- meant to be all one word. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, it has it has to do with uh, typing, right? So, is it, does it? Is that what it yeah. all comes down to? Yeah, it's just it's, we want to make things a little faster to to type yeah, to be yeah, able to. Yeah. yeah. Also, uh, once texting became a thing, then it really took off a lot of those analogies yeah or not an, but uh, i'm saying uh, about acronyms not <laughs> an, an acronym <laughs> but i'm not even just saying all the abbreviations you know by the way or whatever you know btw btw you know fyi all mm-hmm. that but mm-hmm. i'm talking tldr oh to be determined <laughs> <laughs> that's tbd that's tbd tldr is too long didn't read oh okay that's fair so but i'll explain that we're actually later. shortening up words as well Mm, like 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 sus you know oh, something yeah. suspect or yeah. you know it makes you you know sus mm-hmm. you know we'd say sus you know sus. yeah it's a little sus yeah you know if something's sketchy yeah sketch yeah that's sketch exactly yeah. so i mean as many letters as you can remove the better yeah we got places to be what's folks. the purpose though we got places to be what's the purpose as a seven what's the purpose uh, purpose purpose all right let me let me go there um i think in some ways, it's just a shibboleth. Ooh, oh, nice. we're going all the way. Purpose Bible, man. You asked, yeah, I, I delivered. Did. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> we got those creative juices flowing now. What's a shibboleth? So, in the Bible, there's a story of. Um, is that like a theophany? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> uh, you'll have to explain that one after I explain this one. That's I guess. okay. Um, no, but so there's a story of this battle and basically they weren't, they looked, the people they were fighting looked very similar and, you know, I, I, yeah. Were they, but the were the ones that dressed, that like put the old wineskins on and so forth, so they appeared like they'd come maybe. from a long ways away? Yeah, I can't remember the okay. details. All I remember is that um, they said, you'll be able to know it's the enemy if they cannot pronounce shibboleth. 
Oh. And I don't know if I'm spelling, cur- no, pronouncing no, no, no. it correctly, but like there's a, they, they would have a lisp or not have a sure. lisp essentially. So um, it's kind of like being able to roll your R's, right? You uh, okay. Know they're, you know, they, they have a, they can speak Spanish if they can roll their R's, you know, that gotcha. kind of idea. But, um, but anyway, there it's like this in thing, right? So uh, I got gotcha. um, If if I know LOL and you know LOL, I mean, it puts us inside of a certain cultural aspect, and we're, you know, we're sharing it, it, that experience. I got gotcha. you. So there's 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 your purpose, Mark. Is that the purpose? Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you can sounds go, sounds kind of elitist. <laughs> <laughs> um, I suppose <laughs> it could be. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, if you can like use some of those exclusive, acronyms, that's what I was saying. exclusive, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's so that's the that's, that's the, the nature, of being yeah. In. That's the nature of tribes, right? So I gotcha. That's, there's um, you know, there's a lot of psychological benefit to tribes and tribology and that kind of thing. But also, we know there's negatives, right? It's sure my side, your side. Not, I got gotcha. you, know that kind of thing. But so yeah, I think oh, yeah, I think it puts you in a certain tribe, and you know. You'll know how to spell or how to pronounce shibboleth. Yeah. Yeah. So therefore you won't have to be murdered by me. Exactly. <laughs> because I know how to pronounce the words or say them correctly. Yeah. Or, you can yeah, say LOL. I'm part Not of it. Not. Laugh out loud. Turned into an elf. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Little elf. <laughs> Little elf. <laughs> All right. I got one more joke. Yeah. And then you got the theophany. Yeah. Well, yeah. All right. Oh. You want to know what theophany is? After your joke. Joke or the, theophany first? Oh, which joke one, which first. one's funnier? Joke, joke first. Joke right, is funnier. Right. My wife asked me to stop seeing Wonderwall to her. Stop seeing? Singing. I, okay. I'm sorry. Let, let me start over. <laughs> My wife asked me to stop singing Wonderwall to her. I said, maybe. Oh. <laughs> That's uh, in the song. Yeah. I right. figured. Theophany. <laughs> Well, a theophany, long story short, is, you know, we so often we think, well, or a Christophany, maybe. Does that help? No. Okay. Still no. Basically, we, we tend to think that, you know, Jesus kind of showed up in the New Testament. But basically, a Christophany is whenever we have Jesus showing up kind of as a representation in the old testament nice and in you know actually coming to earth and interacting with people yeah. and a theophany is when you know mm. the 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 idea is god the father himself mm-hmm. actually came down to earth and appeared to different people so mm. like Melchizedek, cool. melchizedek would chizedek would be like a, a christophany, christophany where it's you know mm. basically christ Interesting. Some would say Christ himself, you know, came down to mm-hmm. speak with Abraham. So yeah, that's that's your uh, yeah, that's interesting. little tidbit for the morning. Hmm. I've definitely heard of the concept. And never call, heard what it was. Called. Yeah, yeah. Because there's a there's a really cool uh, children's Bible that we have. Oh uh, yeah. that we use with the kids, and it is essentially that. Like, um, it it's the whole Bible and walks through the Old Testament, but it can it always brings it back to Jesus. Oh neat. And yeah, so. Yeah. It's basically the Christophany Children's Bible. Neat. <laughs> well said. Thank you. So. So, how different are we really? Oh. Are we really? You and I are both sevens. We're yeah. Pre- we're pretty different. Yeah, no doubt. Mm-hmm. No doubt. I never see you wear sweatpants. I only wear sweatpants. <laughs> so that's one way. <laughs> I I typically uh, play Frisbee in sweatpants. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I don't play frisbee in sweatpants. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, once in a while I do. If it's hot. I mean cold. There you go. No, that's fair enough. Yeah. What's another difference? What's, what's Between another? us? Yeah. Be- beard and no beard? A go- a good beard and bad beard. We'll put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd go there. <laughs> a good beard and a pathetic excuse for a beard. I would say I would say technology. Technology, yeah. Awareness mm-hmm. of technology would be mm-hmm. one of our... And acronyms usage. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. You use the long, longest, extra long versions of words and I'll use the. You know, and I, <laughs> and I think, I think for me and I, I, you know, when, when you think of sus or sketch or stuff like that, where it's short and it's like, I respect what is happening, but I all, I think I've, I think for me, I respect vocabulary so much or the fact that <laughs> yeah. words matter. Yeah. It's like, come on now. Yeah. What's the, what, you know, and it, it does almost take on a, 
judgmental. It can almost be yeah. a judgmental perspective on my you're part. Because they're, tr- they're not in your tribe of vocabulary. Possibly. Just yeah. shibboleth. Use real <laughs> words. <laughs> you know, what's funny about that, maybe ironic, but is, you know, they're adding new words to the dictionary all sure. the time. So mm-hmm. every time they do that, you're wrong again. <laughs> Like, you know, what I mean? if, I if you. you're, if you're basing on like, you know, this is a real word or not real word and vocabulary, uh-huh. it's like, well, who defines what vocabularies, who defines mm. what, like how large your vocabulary is, if it contains sus and LOL and these things, sure. do those not count? You yeah, I mean? that's correct. When do they count? When do they count? <laughs> no, just right. Kidding. Yeah. You got to say, and I, I, there's a lot of English words that are common and normal and not whatever that were also slang. And I can't remember them, but I know that there's many that we use today that are, uh, man. Yeah. I'm not going to remember, but many, common, many slang that we use today. No, no. They're like, they're normal words for us. They're what you would call vocabulary, like okay. good, healthy <laughs> English gotcha. words that were originally uh, like a slang in, you know, okay. in the Cockney. I got gotcha. you. You know, whatever. Sure. And it just so well, we, evolved to what become. What we would have, what we would consider healthy vocabulary was a slang of one day. Yeah. I yep. gotcha. Yep, yep. Yeah. Um, and it, and you'd be surprised how oh, often I'm sure that's of it. true. So sure. that's kind of my point, right? Like at some point, yeah. is sus going to be its own word? And is it a lesser word because it's shorter than suspect in I hear you. I, I totally get where you're coming from. Yeah. Um, but I, I, there's, a, you know, kids who use all these anacronyms. <laughs> they have their own language that you probably can't speak. Oh, right? I agree. I probably can't and, even understand. Yeah, let yeah. Alone so I mean, I think it. there's yes. something to uh, to that, right? Um, there is something to that. Anyway. Yeah. I think you know that. I think. But I also, oh yeah, yeah, no doubt. And yeah. typically, I'll have to ask. Yeah. You know. I mean, sometimes yeah. you get it, but other times it's like, what'd you say? Kind of like shelf on a, you know, little shelf. <laughs> little, little shelf. Elf. <laughs> little elf on the shelf. Exactly. LOL. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So in that process, be, and, and I think for me, and it, it's kind of funny because it will come down, I, I, we, I suppose I could boil it down to, you know, a primal question mm. because it's like, I think things have a purpose. Mm. And so therefore to just this kind of defense, yeah, if you will, intense. just kind of throw it away to make it shorter, make it smaller, cut it down Yeah, because I'm in, well, from my perspective, a hurry. Yeah. It's like, well, what's the hurry? Yeah. Is it, is the hurry so that I can actually just have more time to scroll on my, right. you know, Facebook or Instagram type thing, right. you know, versus yep. that ability. And there again, yeah, just a thought. But I definitely, and I think uh, some of it comes down to that aspect of valuing what you said as far as a younger generation having its vocabulary Mm -hmm. that's different. You know, I think what I enjoy is when I'm actually around other people whose vocabulary is so much broader than mine. Mm. You know, yeah. to where it's like I really have to stop and listen or think about those words, yeah. and I'll I'll elevate or value what was prior, yeah. but I probably don't value enough. You know, mm-hmm. the new development right. of language, if you will, right? Like like you're describing, which yeah, I have to. It's uh, interesting, yeah, yeah, to I, think about it from that perspective. Yeah, I have to. Uh, that's something I need to mm. value in itself because of the fact that yeah this is a a language that is developed Mm. and it has it it does have a purpose Mm -hmm. even if i don't understand it and that's probably the the where the the frustration comes from is i don't Mm -hmm. always understand you know that kind of thing because it's a it's a developed Mm. language and you know i don't i wouldn't get I wouldn't get bent out of shape if somebody starts talking Spanish or German right. or French, but it's like... Or if, using if, big vocabulary words you don't understand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There'd be a respect for that. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, yeah I still need to mm-hmm. realize that there's a respect for the other side of the equation as well. So yeah, yeah appreciate you bringing that up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you made me think of uh, the kids, Aunt Kelly, who's been on this show before. But, sure. Uh, she... Uh, you know, she's, I don't know what her primal question is, but she's definitely a connector, right? So she likes okay. to connect. And so she, 
she will ask the kids, like Jewel, my middle schooler, sure. like what's what's the language now, and she, she'll like use it, you know, oh, wow. with them all the time, and it's it's really funny. Yeah, because like, in some ways she does it to be funny, but some in some ways she's just doing it to, 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 to connect, connect. And, and sure. she does a good job of that, really good job of that, and um. Yeah, so I think there's something to that too. So, like, so do you have the ability to uh, bring some of our audience up to uh, up to date on I, some of the words? I can only think of one, and it cracks me up. Okay, and I don't think it's a a, a global thing. I think it's just Jules' school, just the boys at her school. But they say "skippity toilet." Oh yeah, <laughs> it's like an exclamation, you know? Like, okay, "skippity toilet," and that uh, signifies. I think it's just like. Oh boy, you know. Oh wow. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think right. it's a joke, you know. Obviously, I got gotcha. you. Know? Yeah, it's a middle school <laughs> boy thing for sure. All right, but that—that's what comes to mind. That's okay. my favorite one. I'll use that with Jewel sometimes. Just, okay, you know, just to make her roll her eyes a little bit. A sarcast? Is bit. it a sarcastic old boy, or you, I think it's, so. it's a literal? I think it's. Well, I've never heard anyone use it except Jewel explain it, so okay. I have no idea how it's used. That's fair enough. In in you the wild. <laughs> You haven't seen it in context. <laughs> right, right, right. But I could see him doing it. I could, knowing middle school boys, I could just see him doing it like all the time. You sure. Know, in every context. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. I think, you know. Well, I, and, I, and I think what we're talking about in this mm-hmm. process in our what episode? 100. Yeah, it does, <laughs> that's kind of fun. That's the time to celebrate a little bit. But in that process, I think it is that what we're talking about is our uniqueness and our difference. Yeah. So as you, and I'm, and I'm mindful of sometimes it, it is our, it's kind of reminding me of basically our first episode where, where, where where the purpose, one number one. Yes. Number (laughs) one, you know, the purpose of how I see it Mm -hmm. is this aspect of being able to see people in a broader perspective Mm. than just the one facet. Mm -hmm. And as we're talking about this, I have to recognize that I can tend to be maybe judgmental of a younger generation at times that's using a vocabulary that I don't understand. And yet... I probably have things that I might say, you know, the other that that generation wouldn't understand because my words are more antiquated. Like I say, <laughs> well, I'm not exactly <laughs> sure. That's a I leave mean, that's, that one alone. <laughs> no, <laughs> I wouldn't consider that, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> antiquated vocabulary. That would be a markism. You know, a there's markism, a reason yes, there that yes, is a yeah. markism. Yeah. But yes, that, that aspect. And I, and I, cause I think about it. Um, I was trying to think because I think sometimes like in my, in my occupation, you know, sometimes the word that comes is a, you know, like uh, a differentiation, you know, I had that my, therapy has its vocabulary yeah domains domain specific vocabulary yeah yeah so it's like automatically in my like mind hvlp there you go <laughs> it's a paint sprayer yes yeah. high volume low pressure nice. paint sprayer well, yes uh, you but speak it, my language <laughs> <laughs> trying to connect Shibboleth. try <laughs> but in that in that process i'm thinking about it in that context of being able to sometimes i'll that word will come to mind, but then I'm automatically kind of, instead of using it or, or maybe even using it, especially with kids, you know, it's like, I'm not going to use differentiation, you know, but I am going to bring it down into a, you know, age appropriate vocabulary, you know, and it's so it's, you wish the kids would do the same for you. Uh, no, not necessarily, but (laughs) I can bring it up to an age appropriate. Yeah. LOL to laugh out loud. And, and yet, I think there's a point where I, I need to extend the benefit that that's just normal to a kid yeah. or to a younger person, you know, as I've developed this and, you know, being it. And mm. here again, I, I see that as even somewhat being similar to someone who might swear. Mm. It's like, you know, it, once it becomes a part of my vocabulary, I don't even necessarily think about it. I don't even yeah. necessarily assign it a value that the person listening to me might assign to it. Right. Like I say. Like I say. 
That's, but, that's fair enough. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> that was, that's good. You're out. You're uh, you're on a roll, roll this morning. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm I'm thankful for the opportunity. Me too. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> All right, I'm done. It's Maybe. okay. <laughs> I can appreciate the creativity, but still being able to recognize back to the first episode, you know, how we tend to view people on a very small segment and therefore you are so Mm. different than I am just because of that one Mm. facet. The irony too is, I mean, there's, there's a couple of points of irony, Uh, how different we really want to be from everyone else. And Mm. we're really not. But also how different we really are. No. So there's there's kind of two points of irony there. Like people who are desperately trying to be so unique. And it's like yes. you look just like, you know, all the other kids with goth attire. Right? Remember when I that gotcha. was a thing? Yep, like yep. maybe it's a thing now, but like, um, it's you know, di- it's a it different was like, name. I like to be different. Therefore, yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Skippity toilet. <laughs> I doubt it's that. Uh, <laughs> people in black. Yeah. Yes. No. Yes. That anyway, wouldn't be it. But, but, you know, you would look at it, you know, you could see, like, I desperately want to be different than all mm, you dumb mm, people. So I'm going to sure. look like all these people. But, you know, there's this perception that I'm so different and, and you end up falling into this other category of all the same. Um, so that mm. that's kind of some irony to it. And I feel like that's a pretty common thing, and especially in high school where you're really sure. trying to just find yourself. Um, but then, again... The flip side of that irony is that we are all very distinct, you know. Sure, we, we use the term snowflake as this negative, you know, in this negative mm. connotation. Like you can't, you know, like you think you're special and different than everyone. You're a mm. snowflake or whatever. But the truth oh, is wow. we we actually are. We're, we're snowflakes. We're, there's no human being that's exactly the same as any other, despite our similarities or mm-hmm. even sometimes we try and look as similar to someone else as possible. Sure. But we're not that person. Yeah. You know, we have our own unique. I mean, we and we also talked about um, um, like it, even if you share the same number, you can have yeah. such a drastically different, up, you know, bringing or context. You know, or like we said, you could l- grow up in the same house, and the mm-hmm. difference is I lived with you, and you you live with me. So mm-hmm. then, therefore, we had a completely different upbringing. Sure. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think it's again, there's some irony there where if we could just accept the fact that yes, I am different mm-hmm. already. Yep. I'm good enough. I'm different enough. I'm I'm exactly my you know, uniqueness. Easy for me to say as a seven. <laughs> but, I gotcha. But no, but I, I think about that and so often, you know, in like in sessions and so forth, that difference between, you know, right and wrong, so often we see right as the people like me. Yeah. And wrong is the people that are different. Yeah. You know, and yet being being able to recognize, okay, you know, different isn't wrong. Different is just unique in that process and the ability that we have to be able to Mm. value that uniqueness is a important aspect of healthy living to a certain degree from my perspective. I'm thinking about it, you know, I mean, as I'm, as I'm thinking about ways that we're all the same or all different, you know, I'm recognizing, you know, we all have that God shaped vacuum, if you will, Mm -hmm. you know, that, or even come if you want to bring it back to the primal question or that, you know, it's like that, what do I, what do I fill? And I think we all have that vacuum, Mm -hmm. but what we try to fill it with Mm -hmm. is going to be different for each person, Mm -hmm. you know, in that process, very, Mm -hmm. very similar in having that, you know, and that desire to want to be unique. I don't think, man, I, I I don't I, I I was thinking about it in that context to the point of want people people that have a desire to be just like everybody else. I'm not sure that's part of our, you know, granted, a desire to fit in, maybe a desire mm-hmm. to be accepted, but I think our desire is to be accepted for our uniqueness, mm-hmm. not just because I'm yeah. exactly like you. At at the core, probably, I think sometimes we don't even know that. We see someone who represents success and what we want to be, and we think, if I could be exactly that, I'd be happy. Mm, and so we you. shoot for that, not recognizing that. I mean, it's kind of like uh, getting you know desire to get rich, right? Like, once I'm rich, I'll be happy. Well, oh, sure. we, we know that's 
once I get that job, fundamentally, once I make right. that much money, once I have correct, we know the those house. things are empty. And when you achieve mm-hmm. those things, you look for the next thing to fulfill it. And it's the same with wanting to be just like that person. If I manage it, mm-hmm. <laughs> like I'm still empty because, like you said, my inner desire is actually to be unique, not to perfectly yeah. mimic or mirror someone else. Yeah. And yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's it's interesting our desire to be so <laughs> how kind of all at the same time we want to be so different and at the same time we want to look just like that person and that mm. person and we you know like we mm-hmm. we want to we don't want you know and <clears throat> my uh uh another podcast uh that i listened to he mm-hmm. would say it's about evolution and about um our fear of being plucked out of the you know like on the serengeti there's a line he goes for the one that's all alone and you know whatever mm. and it's our fear of that right like this idea of if i'm not in the tribe i will be plucked mm. off and taken right gotcha um which to me you know obviously makes sense it, even without evolution in terms of our tribology sure. has a lot to do with that um we don't want to be left alone and therefore vulnerable sure um well i think it, even that has its spiritual connection you know in that aspect of you know someone who's outside of you know the church or you know yeah. that the community if you will mm-hmm. you know they are a little more vulnerable yep you know yep. To, to that isolation yep and then there's you know there's the lone wolves who actually are outside and they do just fine in terms of you know they're not getting plucked off but they're not doing just fine in the sense that they're lacking the community aspect sure that's so healthy and, and important for yep. for humans you know um but yeah and then the other thing too is like once we've gotten right inside the bounds of that tribe and we mm-hmm. okay i'm in i'm yep. safe now we're looking for ways to differentiate, right? Like mm. to say, all right, but I want to be the alpha, you know, male, female, whatever. I want to get to the top and have mm. that, you know, recognition. So what can I do? What's my unique path in this maze to get to that, right? Wow, I hear you. And, and, and as soon as uh, we, and then sometimes if it can, it can flip on us, right? Where if I try a certain path and it causes me to get ejected from the tribe. Now we're back to, no, I'm just like you. And we're uh, back to trying to, you know what I'm saying? I hear where you're coming from. Yeah. 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 I've, I've seen that occur growing up and I think I, I've done it many times where it's like, you try this certain joke, you know, and you're like, okay. I'm going to be real edgy. And it's like, sure. no one likes that. And you're like, <laughs> oh, and now you're just trying to like, I'm still cool. And you're like, you know, try and find the right shibboleth right. right again to get back in and so dad jokes are part of part of your primal question then i guess so yeah i guess so yeah, yeah. It, it certainly it's puts what me it's, in it's what the it's in crowd evolved. of dads. it's what it's evolved to yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a real dad <laughs> there you go uh, yeah yeah so the edginess is what can actually get you ejected from the group or propel you, right? Or like, I mean, you. that's yeah. in like so many movies, right? Like, sure. You see, you see that that battle. Yeah. Yeah. You know, pushing the line, but not. You yep. Know. You you think about it from that reinforcement standpoint. Yeah. If it, and, if it was successful, I'm likely going to do it again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I I think about you know your story that you shared about kind of your upbringing a few episodes back. I forget what one it was a part of, but um. Your your story kind of stands out to me uniquely in the sense that it didn't seem to fit the normal trajectory of like trying to find where you fit in. You just mm-hmm. walked where you walked. You knew you had access to the whole tribe, and you would go to this side. You go to mm-hmm. that, you weren't you? trying to knock the guy off the top, and you weren't trying to not. You know. You yeah, were, no, I like you say, weren't you... worried about getting ejected because like you had your gun, so you just go hunting. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I don't know. Your story is very unique in that sense of kind of a lot of the. Um, I don't know the the just the way I I see a lot of the, the people growing up around me and me how I grew up sure. just kind of trying to fight for the top or yeah, fight that, for your spot. I, I'll I'll admit when you shared that analogy, that's like that's not a desire on my part. I don't desire to be the alpha. Yeah, you know, and I would you know some of that's going to come back to me for birth order. You know, because my brother was the alpha. Yeah. So like you can have the alpha. Yeah, you can have that. I don't care, you know, (laughs) to be the alpha. Mm. So that that has very, that has no appeal to me. Yeah. You know. It's interesting. But I don't, and the other part of that is, it's like, I don't mind, you know, leading a group. 
but it's not like that's my desire to seek it out. Mm-hmm. So that's that's the part that's foreign to me. Yeah, as you, far as seeking out the desire to be the leader of the group, it's like nah, right? Not I'll do that, I'll do that by osmosis, to it, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I suppose. I mean, <clears throat> how we it, love marriage on the rock. I mean, yeah, I, know, I recognize you. You co lead that with with uh, Chris. Chris, but that's Chris the is same. the real leader. In love. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. So no, yeah, you're the beta leader in that situation. Yeah, that's good. No, nothing wrong with that. Exactly. But yeah. the point is, like, you're, you know, you know, you teach on Friday nights once in a while. Sure. I don't know if that's considered leading, but, you know, I think it mm-hmm. is. But um, in the sense where... I consider where, that teaching. Yeah. It is different for me yeah. in that context. I yeah. think so, too. Yeah. 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 Uh, or, you, like, occasionally you would lead an F3 workout. Yeah. I haven't done that you. in a while yeah. either. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, sure. I probably should, in all honesty, yeah. but, yeah. Dr. I, that, Dr. That's, Dr. Phil, come that's, on. <laughs> that's another area of technology. Oh, Slack yeah. Slack has moved yeah. on and they changed the name and it's like I just I just honestly haven't bothered to re update. Yeah. I tried to, you know, do a new invite, you know, Ramsey's helped yeah. me, you know, that whole kind yeah. of thing. But it's like I couldn't get the technology to work and it's like, man, if I can't get the technology to work, <laughs> yeah. Someone else deuces. can lead this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. But yeah, that's what it does that's come down exactly to. exactly the kind of thing you, whatever you are would do. <laughs> like, I don't need to get to the top. I'll just go around outside here and that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I'll, sh- I'll still show up. I'm but still part of the But you're also not group. like, I'm. yeah, right. Like yeah. you're not like, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. I'm my own part of that group. It's not that I don't have yeah. a certain, yeah. you know, leadership or, you know. I'm sure there's lots and lots of people like you. I just don't know any. Okay, like, I'd give you. I'd give you that. It's a very unique position. I'm so used to seeing people want to find their place in the group or mm. get to the top or find. Maybe I'm not the top, but at least show me where I am on the totem pole. You know what I mean? I or gotcha. or like screw all of you. I'm out of this <laughs> tribe and lone wolf it. That kind of thing. Yeah. And kind of. Yeah. So it's 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 interesting. Yeah. And I and I respect the fact. It's funny. Um, you have referred to me as a lone wolf previously. Yeah, well. but I don't know that that's but, accurate, right? Well, because you're not like... Uh, but I do recognize hmm. that I hmm. can have a tendency to kind of just walk off and do my own thing, hmm. you know, outside the group. But I'm not saying that's always healthy to live that as a lifestyle. Right. I think that's yeah, that's that, that's part of the difference, you know, because yep. so often in a lot of people I work with, you know, it's like, well, this happened and this happened and I'm just going to go live in isolation now. Yeah. You know, that's a that's a desire to continue in that trajectory. Yeah. It's not just a yeah. momentary thing where I've lost relationship and I'm going to transition to finding another group or, you know. Yeah. involving myself with other people it's just a desire i've fed up with people now mm-hmm. so i'm just gonna go live in isolation and that's a dangerous place to live mm-hmm. from my perspective yep for sure yeah 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 i, I yeah i think anything regarding you as a wolf, lone wolf is kind of more just humorous but i think <laughs> you know by thinking about this whole thing i definitely don't see that like you haven't abandoned the tribe and therefore and are staying out there. I think that's sure. just not my perception yeah. in any I may way. I go shape, camp or every form. now and yeah, then. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, you're the hunter or gatherer. You always come back with some food, <laughs> some, <laughs> some berries. <laughs> yeah. So in that, as we're as we're thinking about the uniqueness, the differences, what would you say are some of the major differences? that you see in people or are there more similarities than difference if you just just throwing it out there i mean Uh uh-huh i feel like we are all so similar in so many ways but again it just comes down to your lived experience and how that's impacted Uh you and um empathy is about being able to hear your story and saying oh that's how it's different that makes sense you know what i mean yeah I don't know. I don't. It's a big question. I don't know. I have that. I have a big answer. I think it's just a small answer of, yeah, we're we're very similar to each other, and yet we're all unique. So yeah, the, both are true. You know, yeah. Yes, and you know. Yeah. No. It's it's just it's just as you think about, <clears throat> I shouldn't say as I think about you know how we're all unique, you know. Well, 
as 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 we're all the same you know those that god shaped vacuum mm, you know yeah. but yet recognize everyone grew up so differently everyone has a different experience there's some similarities of course that we can draw from yeah but yet yeah, it is i i agree with you in that context i don't think it's uh you know, an either or type thing. It's just a, it helps me recognize how sovereign God is in that process of being able to take all of that sameness, all of that uniqueness and orchestrate it in such a way that each life has purpose, each life has meaning, Mm -hmm. you know, and no matter what a person has done, you know, wrong, right, different, Hmm. you know, God can still use all of that Mm -hmm. as part of the plan. And I don't Mm -hmm. have to, you know, walk away. I think that's Mm -hmm. part of the beauty of scripture too. You know, we're reminded of, you know, the, the, the mistakes that people make, you know, the, their, if we, if I made their wrongness where they messed up, but yet that just helps me find a little bit of peace even Mm -hmm. comfort in that process that, yeah, God still showed up in all these people's lives, Mm -hmm. you know, and he orchestrated his purposes, Mm -hmm. even when they lied, they stole, they cheated, you know, that kind of thing. It's just kind of interesting for me to be able to think about. Yeah. You know, thinking of uh, the primal questions, there are seven of Mm -hmm. them, right? Yep. So, Essentially, we're distilling all of humanity into seven and saying you fo- you know you fall into one of these seven mm-hmm. or or you know somewhere in the continuum, mm-hmm. um, and and I think in some ways we buck against that saying you know and we've talked about that before with personality mm-hmm. assessments like you can't pin me down or whatever mm-hmm. I'm different you know, um, what's so interesting is like even that number seven it, it, it aligns with that's how many notes there are a b c d e f oh, wow. g. And you think about the <clears throat> the sheer number of songs hmm. in in the world, past and oh, present. Wow. Sure, Bach, Mozart, you know, yeah, country. It's all pulling from that same set of seven. Wow, right? Yeah, and uh, just thinking about how unique. And then also, you think about us. Like there are um, sometimes uh, litigations against musicians for stealing. E- oh music yeah, work. sure. One yep. example, a uh, common uh, that's kind of gone down in history is uh, Vanilla Ice. Yeah, uh, Ice Ice Bait. Do yep. do 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 do. Yep. That that was sampled, or you know, one he would argue not sampled from uh, mm-hmm. Under Pressure. Yeah, you know, yeah. Down on me. Yeah. Do 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 do. Uh, yeah, and no, if I'm, you hear both those songs side by side, both both just you know, just the music they're, track, they're good jammers, they're good ones. I hear you. Uh, but you wouldn't think like, oh, exact same song, right? Sure. Despite the fact that they use the same progression, same notes, you know, maybe one slight accent different or whatever, they are their own unique snowflake of a song. Sure. Despite using that same thing, and uh, and then you think about the chord progression G C D E E minor. That's like. 90% of country songs, 62% oh, wow. of all worship songs, <laughs> you know, that same chord progression. Sure. And yet, you know, it's so versatile. And so, you know, um, and I, I think it's such a good analogy. Yeah. It really is because every song is its own unique thing. Sure. It's, it has mm. its own place, its own space in this universe, you know? Yeah. Um, and I think, and and then also you can tell when a song is a poser, right? You can tell when you literally just took that song and changed three words and called it your own. And sure. it has the kind of like, yeah, I don't, that's not cool, you know? Yeah. Or you can tell when someone is um, just trying to beat this other artist and it's dis- not genuine. Okay. And it's like, I bet you're a pretty good artist on your own. I bet mm. you're a pretty good singer. I bet you, you know, you could come up with some pretty good lyrics, you know? Mm-hmm. And that's true of humanity too. And I'm trying to be just like Mark. It comes across as disingenuous and people go, mm, it doesn't sit right. Like, what is, why yeah. don't you feel trustworthy? And it's like, because sure. I'm not being who I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be my specific mm. version of myself, not a clone of someone else. And like, you know, there's a lot of movies that make fun of the um, the cronies, right? That are just like their boss and they, sure. you know, they got their hat turned backwards to match him. And, you know, whatever. It's I like, gotcha. no one respects them, right? Mm. They just push them aside and go right to the, the, the real source, right? The person gotcha. who's actually, you know. Um, so that mm. was kind of a, a nice little rabbit trail of mine. But 
Um, I just appreciate thinking about that. how music in humanity, I mean, it's seven, seven, you know? Yeah. What makes an octave then? Is an octave eight? An octave is, uh, well, an octave. Yeah, that, yes, I thought that was a yes, yes, stack yes, of yes, eight, yes, and you go up another yes. octave, and that's another stack it of might eight. Be, like if you count the... Maybe you redo the letter again. Oh, I don't know. I just, I just thought of octaves as Someone eight. who is a musician, <laughs> please tell us. Please tell us. I all, thought, <laughs> all I know is there's no H... I got you. Chord, right? Yeah. Like there's no H I, key, so... I just always there's heard of no, an octave, and I've yeah. always thought of it as eight. Yeah, but it is eight. Oh, I well, that's what I assume. So that's, I, don't know. I didn't know Let's how see. that fit into seven. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. Yeah. Like I I, and, I may, and maybe I could see it working, you know, by the time you that, go up the next level. Yeah. Is that, but either way. I know an octave is essentially the same note, just the next level up, next octave sure. up. But right. yeah, I don't understand. I don't think that ties to notes. But Okay. No, I just. Like say, yeah. I would love for someone who knows to tell me. So we'll see. That's know, please that's our that's our. We had uh we had three and four last week. Got us some interaction. That's this right. this ability that's right. to explain an octave. Yes, is, uh, please explain an octave. Yeah, how I'm, that compares to seven notes. That, yes, whether they translate, but also you know in terms of notes, like there's minors, there's flats, yep. there's sharps. You know, the there's middle. two options to mm-hmm. each plain option yeah, yeah yeah and so um you know it's not that dissimilar from humanity either i might be a mix of six and seven or you know one and seven sure. or whatever and you know yep yeah no it's just it's fun to think i was uh when you were describing that as uh you know the whole do re mi yeah and then to do that backwards is silent night right is that correct yeah i think it was something like that yeah, yeah it was some like, christmas song yeah, yeah i think it's silent night or yeah. is it yeah. silent night but either way, it's definitely a Christmas song. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, That's not dun, dun. Silent Night. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Joy mm-hmm, to the World? Yeah. There we go. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Is that is that right? Yes. Because yeah. I could I I could I wouldn't know yes. Do Re Mi Fa Sol La Ti Do Do Fa Re. Right. Yeah. Because it goes up and that one goes dun <clears throat> dun 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 down. Okay. Right. So yeah, Joy to the World. Yeah. Uh, Fair enough. Sales, thank you. Yeah, you're it welcome. wasn't silent you're night, but yeah. This is fun. <laughs> 100. <laughs> We're doing Christmas songs? Oh, no. Don't tell Megan. No? Oh, wow. <laughs> She's going to give us a hard time. Give me a hard time. Well, it was I'm just, very it was based on, yeah, okay, okay, right. on Do-Re-Mi. That's true. So, yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. The uniqueness that is in a song based on the yes. order of notes that yeah. we're able to choose. Yeah. 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 So, yes. basically... Uh, She's going to be on me because I'm anti-Christmas songs up until you. after Thanksgiving. And then I'm all Christmas songs until wow. January 1-ish. I got gotcha. you. And then it's back off. I hear you. She would prefer to have Christmas songs all year round? Um, I or think, is, is it just I think in her that? heart of hearts, she's with me. I think she would ah. say that. Um, and a lot, But I think... Uh, She's very much, she loves Christmas. So she's, anytime there's an opportunity to think about Christmas, she wants to think about it. And I'm like, no, I, it's mm. too sacred for me to become oh, wow. mundane. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? I'm hearing where it's you're just, coming from. I really like it to be in its very defined, distinct Man. time frame. And I like to enjoy that time frame <laughs> to its full extent without sure. it being muddied. I got gotcha. you. So that's like my thing. So people, you know, this is an ongoing joke with a lot of friends. Like I'm a Grinch and I'm like, no, I'm the opposite. I protect the sanctity oh, of this season. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the rest of you are ruining it. I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that, that's you're, my you're, Christmas You're theories. a Christmas story person, you know? Yeah. It's like yeah. you show those movies just in that season. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And they're that much better. I hear you. And you got the Christmas lights out, Christmas mm-hmm. music playing, the cookies. It, the whole package I gotcha. works really well. But just a just, few pieces of it. <sighs> just one seems inauthentic. Yes, it's just not right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So there, now so, you know. Now I, you I do know I, how to be. And I appreciate what you've shared. And I like to say that analogy of music hmm. in that context of same seven, but still unique in all of its difference. Yeah, the ability to arrange it in order. And I think so often, you know, I think our lives are like that. 
in the process of we have these opportunities yeah that i'll i'll call them opportunities that come our way and we get a lot of choices yeah you know it's not that it just has to be that one way because that's that song yeah but you know each of our lives is an individual story is an individual and it's Mm. and it's and it's done best if i may say so when we just do that in unity in What's the, what's the, what's the word when two harmony, that's the word harmony. I was looking for and harmony with God yeah. in that process yeah. of don't, don't worry about what mm. those people are mm-hmm. doing. Don't look to those people. You look to me mm. and there's enough, mm. there's enough broadness in who I am to represent all I want you to be. Mm-hmm. And you just let them be that other part that's not you yeah and you just focus on the notes that i'm asking you to play the story that i'm asking you to write because you don't have to concern yourself with someone else's story Mm -hmm. and i that's you know kind of when i think about it in the terms of the notes and the story and a song Mm -hmm. you know that's kind of what comes to my mind is you know that ability that we have to be able to Mm -hmm. say okay i don't need to be concerned about what song you're writing Mm -hmm. i just need to be in harmony with god doing what he's asking me to do, walking in obedience Mm. to the things. And, and that may even lead to lead to certain difficulties. Yeah. You know, in that process, I'm not saying that, you know, it's going to be cake if I do it that way, but being able to recognize, okay, yeah, this is what I'm called to. And even those difficult parts are just part of the story that, yeah adds to my individual Mm. uniqueness Mm. yeah you know the tough thing about what you're saying though is for kids growing up with some of those primal questions Mm. we didn't have the option that we knew of to say oh this is about my story whatever all we had was well i guess that person's life is good i guess i'll try Mm. that you know what i mean like um when your primal question is am i good enough or Mm -hmm. you know am i Mm -hmm. safe or some of those ones um it can be very difficult to just believe oh my life is good as it is like i have this Mm -hmm. opportunity to pave my own path and it will be a good one it's like no i'm nothing so i have to look at somebody who's something Mm -hmm. and then try to mimic what they're doing as best i can gotcha you know and i think that that's breaking out of that is so important no matter what your primal question is but learning what you said is true no, I hear it's you. crucial to health i think um no doubt in, in purpose you know well and i think as you use the word purpose it reminds me you know i i you know have that the belief that you know there are four things that only god can provide unconditional acceptance identity security and purpose hmm. you know so whenever i'm trying to find those things outside of god you know then that's going to be a more difficult process yeah but when I'm recognizing they are fully available and granted, I understand that as part of a journey. We're not, we don't come out of the womb basically saying, right. okay, I got all that I need in God. Right. I get that. But yeah, hmm. as part of a journey, when we're able to recognize that all of all that we need is available there as a source, that makes a tremendous difference in yeah. our ability to find comfort, to find hmm peace to find joy to find happiness even Mm -hmm. you know because i think so often that that happiness can seem elusive when i'm in the midst of conflict but it's not that it's it's not that it's gone it's just a a circumstance of the moment and i can still find joy in that process because i'm recognizing okay this is shaping me in a way that nothing else can Mm -hmm. but i also understand that's not always comfortable Mm mm-hmm and sometimes I shy away from the things that are uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, in comparison, right, when we're in comparison mode, we only see people's highlight reels and not mm. the uncomfortable parts <clears throat> that they had to endure to get to where they are. And so when we, even when we try and copy their path and we encounter, mm-hmm. um, you know, uncom- discomfort or, mm-hmm. you know, challenges along the way, we think, oh, I must be doing it wrong. Sure. <laughs> right? Because... That person clearly got there easy, you know, and I am not. So what am I doing wrong? And I would say, well, number one thing you're doing wrong is you're trying to copy someone else. (laughs) So stop that. Yeah. But if you are going to go this road, then you have to recognize, you know, there's challenges, you know, no matter which direction you go. No doubt. Um, 
and your challenges are going to be unique to you because of your unique place in this world too sure so even if i try and copy someone's trajectory exactly it's just not going to work out the same way it just no it doesn't the math doesn't work out there's, yeah there's too many uh probabilities and odds and mm -hmm. numbers <laughs> sure and uh, all, all those good um, math things happening all those good math things yeah yeah and it's a, it's a it's a good thing you're mentioning numbers as our 100th episode 100th. yes that's right. so yeah Anything That's, else uh, you would uh, like to uh, make a part of our 100th episode? Uh, I wish I had a popper. Wait, do we, wait, let me see if I can pull off this oh, applause thing. Oh, here we go. It's going to either be a drum roll or a, a applause yeah. or are you ready? Here it comes. Yeah, he's got to remember which one it was. Oh, he's got a button blinking, but nothing happened. I'm giving you the play button. Ah, oh, there it is. Nice. Oh, that was a pretty good fade in and out. Nice job. That's why, that's why Justin get paid is, the is, big is that's right. That's why he is the technology guru. There you have I, it, folks. Well, I did push the wrong one the first time. I don't know what that button did. It might have. It, uh, it did absolutely broke nothing. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> from a from an audio standpoint, it did absolutely nothing. But I appreciate your uh, willingness to try the next button. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah. So bottom left is the applause. So thank you, folks. This was our hundredth episode. It's been fun. Um, yeah. Celebrate your given uniqueness. That's right. As you recognize, yeah, that you are uniquely created designed with purpose and meaning and lord we uh and i almost made that a prayer didn't I? <laughs> <You did. laughs> we, and uh so yes you we, can make it a prayer uh, yeah so lord, lord. We, we thank you for this hundredth episode That's and right. we thank you for our listeners and uh we just praise you for who you are and uh this amen is, this is how we see it hey thank you for listening to our podcast if you like how I see it, please do all the things that podcasts tell you to do. Subscribe, rate, review, follow us, uh, and or talk nicely about us on social media. If you want to reach out, the email is us at howiseeit.click. Yep, I said dot click, as in dot C-L-I-C-K. Please tell your friends about this show, and we'll see you on the next one.